Back in the 1970s, the early 1970s, I used to play in beer bars. And this was before the advent of electronic tuners. And we used to stand there on stage in a noisy beer bar. Trying to tune our guitars. We never, we, we, it was terrible. We spent a third of our time tuning and two thirds of our time playing out of tune. Then along came the little electronic tuners. What a godsend, what a great thing for acoustic guitars. And the one I've always used is this little Diadario. It's simple, it's easy, it's small, it clips right on here. And uh, it works pretty well, 12 bucks. I bought a lot of these. I put one on every one of my guitars and it has worked pretty well. Then a friend went to the NAMM show and he bought me a present. And what he bought me was the Peterson strobe clip-on tuner. When he initially gave it to me, I thought, oh man, this thing is too big, it's too complicated. You know, I just want a simple tuner. I don't want to look. This thing looks like um, a kaleidoscope. It's like, oh, how do you get it to stop? You know, you can't, okay, that way if you're flat, that way if you're sharp, and there's a, uh, and I thought, I don't like it. And then he told me, the cool thing about this is, it gives you the sweet spot tuning, what James Taylor calls sweet tuning. James Taylor did a wonderful YouTube video where he showed how he tunes his guitar. And what he does, he doesn't tune all the strings to standard pitch. He tunes some of them down what he calls a cent. When we tune a high E string, we tune it three cents flat of what would be considered uh, spot on. I did it once and it was difficult. It sounded good, but it just was too much trouble with this type of uh, tuner. The G string is minus four. Because it doesn't show you the sense. And you just, you have to go, some are a little higher, some are a little lower, and when you get it, it sounds really good. But it's a pain in the ass to do. You have to remember, oh, uh, this one's six cents, this one's down three cents. Wait, how many cents is the G string? The G string is minus four. This tuner is automatically set to do all of that for you. The cool thing about this Peterson Strobe Tuner is it comes with a setting so that all you do is dial it in, it, it's set to that sweet spot. So it's a little bit not to standard tone, a tune, but it's perfect for the sweet spot. And this is what it sounds like. That's a D chord. It may be the closest to being in tune I've ever been in 50 years of guitar playing. I love this tuner, the Peterson Stroke Tuner. They're 69 bucks on Amazon, but uh, if you really are doing studio work and you want to be in tune, that's the best tuner I've found.